Okay, 25 caliber craft, 38 grain, Nielsen slugs. Last night I cut the choke off. I had to take three inches off this barrel. Um, I took three inches off. I can't crony it because I have no idea where my phone is. I use my son's phone as the camera. I use my phone for the crony. And uh, nobody in the house knows. Four kids. Nobody's seen it. But let's get to it. Let's see if it's any better. And if it isn't, I'll just have to tune it a little bit more. Look for the spots that are bad and go from there. Holy cow, guys. Look at that one. Oh, my God. I hope it stays that way. So far, so good. I would like not to have to do any more work on this barrel. The only time I have is when the kids go to bed. So I'm up to like three in the morning. I threw that one. God darn it. I threw that. God darn it. I wanted it to be perfect. Yeah, they're going in that hole right there. You see that? When I really rest the gun good. So this barrel set, guys. Corral barrel. Yeah, they're going all in the same hole. All right, so this one's done. Here's the cool thing. I figured out a way. I'm lucky, right? Because I have, um, I got a lathe. I have a mill, so I'm very lucky. I'm thinking, what about you guys that don't have a lathe? You're going to take this to a machine shop and have them do the work for you. You know, they give you a hard time. They don't want to do it. It's too small. They're not making enough money. You take it to a gunsmith. Good luck finding an air gunsmith. You take it to a gunsmith. They're the same way. They don't want to mess with these things. I have figured out a way for you to take your choke off without taking the gun to a machine shop. I'm going to shoot a video on that because it is. I think it's going to be beneficial to all of you. I'm going to show you what you have to do to shoot the group I just shot. Um, exactly what to do. So you guys are now going to be able to, in your house, in your kitchen, in your garage, in your basement, wherever you choose, Take the choke off your gun.